I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. The focus of this exercise is to practice decision making during the Charleston. That's half the game, you know. Going into the pick and discard phase of the game, you want to be set up for success. That's why I practice. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. One way that you can gauge whether or not you've made the right decisions during the modeling exercises is to count your discards. A guideline I like to follow is four discards after the Charleston for whatever category I've chosen to play. Sometimes if you've picked a hand, maybe four or five discards especially if you have no gaps. Let's roll the dice to see which player we are. I rolled a seven. One, three, five, seven. So we're going to be player three, non-dealer. I will get 13 tiles. Then I'm gonna create a mock Charleston with no jokers. For these tiles, we have a pair of fours and a pair of threes. I say the strength of this dealt hand is three, four consecutive run. I would hold all consecutive numbers, one through four, maybe even one through five. Three, four, five, six. But I want to use the three. I don't think we need to go all the way up there. Let's get rid of these wins. So we're not passing six, seven, nine. So let's pass, let's get rid of the nine, the seven and a south. That way we're not passing a six, nine together. Either way, six, nine or seven, nine. And this is not that bad of a pass for another pass if we happen to get all the tiles we want. So let's pass these three and see what happens. We got a one. Consecutive one, three, four. Doesn't quite work. Here's a five. But I don't think the ones are gonna work here. We do have three, four, five now, mixed suit Kongs. That would be the third hand down if we have get flowers. Let's pass these three. See if we can get some decision makers. Whoa! Hello! White dragons. I hope no one would ever pass a pair, let alone white dragons. So we have three, four, one white. We do have potential for a year hand. We would have to throw away two pair. We have two pair here. Sometimes your pairs don't go together. Three, four, five. Three, four, five. Here's more year tiles. Let's see. Two, zero, one, nine. This would be the second hand down, no gaps, using two multiples. Three, four, five, no flowers, that's a gap. I say we break these up. This sometimes happens when you have multiples that clash. And this is what I would do. I would go with the one that uses the most tiles. In this case, we have a year category with options. Here we had a gap. So gap hands take lower priority. There's a flower and we have tiles we can pass. So we don't have to pick a hand. There's a keeper and we have tiles we can pass. 
so we can keep all the year tiles. It doesn't matter what suit or number. We're just going to focus on year tiles. Ones, twos, nines, dragons, and flowers. Let's pass these three. Year tile. We have two tiles to pass. Now we whittle down and pick a hand. The first hand, 2019 in one suit with a one and a nine. We have a one here. We could do it like this. Flowers, 2019 in dots with a one and a nine. That would use one multiple. If we played 2019 in one suit, we would use all the multiples. We do have a gap though. We could also do 2019 in two suits. So I would give up the one by process of elimination and pass these three. No keepers. So we'll pass three for optional cross. Discards. I would throw the green first. So we're in between 2019, the second hand, or 2019, the mixed suit option, same hand. So this probably will end up going away. But I would discard that later by the end of the third wall. Year hand. That's how I would have played it, I think. I think consecutive would have worked though too. I rolled a five, one, three, five. So we're going to be the dealer. We'll get 14 tiles this time. What would you do here? This is pull two. I would want to use as many of the multiples as I can. I think I would play consecutive run. Three, four, five mixed suit Kongs. Use this as joker bait. I would hold the three and the two for options. Pass those three. Consecutive run. We do have threes and dragons. If fours or fives come in, we can use dragons and use joker bait with one of these. Let's see what happens. So we're using right now two multiples, one for joker bait, maybe. So we're breaking up one multiple. That's kind of risky. Consecutive run. Oh my gosh, look what we got. Sevens. Okay. Three, five, seven. Four, five, six, seven. Keep the seven. We're going to switch our run from two through five. I probably should have done that in the first place. Instead of two, three, four, five, I should have done four, five, six, seven and kept that seven. Well, let's see if we can recover. Four, four, five. We don't have a six. I think that's why I went with the three. Three, four, five. I don't want to pass this. That would be really risky. We'll pass a two and a dragon. 
three, four, five, or five, seven, seven, nine. We have a gap in 09. So there's some odd potential. Let's give up the six. Let's pass these and see what happens. Threes. Oh my goodness, look at that. Three, four, five, seven, five, six, seven, <laughs> five, six, seven. Okay, let's give up the seven and the three. Actually, we have, look here, like numbers with threes. Let's give up the six. Three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six. That's a gap. Like numbers with threes. We have three multiples that we're not using. I don't want to pass like numbers. Let's give up a three. Ooh, let's give up the BAM. Three, seven, six. Four, nine, eight. Five, seven, nine. Three, four, three, four. Three, four, five with fours. Three, four, five with fours. Let's give up seven, eight, nine and focus here. This is a bit risky. One, dragon, six, three, four, three, four, five, seven, six, one, three, five. There is a dragon hand under odds, but it's with an opposite dragon. So this wouldn't work. This might work. One, three, one, three, three, five, dragon, three, five, dragon, one, three, one, three, three, five, dragon, or like numbers with fours or like numbers with threes and use the fives as joker bait. Let's get rid of these. There's a four. We have two tiles to pass, so let's whittle. Three, four, three, four. Or like numbers with fours. Oops. Like numbers with fours. So basically it would be like that. We have a gap, no four bam. So that's one option. Three, four, three, four. If we can get the red dragon, we could even play maybe the pair hand. Let's let's focus on three, four and break up the five. Flower. Okay, here we have a two, five, six. Two, three, four with threes. Two, three, four concealed with threes. Three, four, three, four with the flowers. Three, four, three, four. Joker bait. Let's give up the two and pass for optional. If we get the three bam back, maybe we could do like numbers with threes. Nope. Discards. So probably what I would do here is play consecutive run number six. Numbers, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Consecutive run number six, three, four, three, four, or a pair hand. Pair hand, we need a red dragons and a three dot and then another flower. So I think I would start by discarding those. And it leaves us with four discards. That one was kind of tough.
let's roll. Okay, I rolled an 11. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. So we're going to be player 3. Non-dealer. Pull three. We have single flower dragons, single dots, bams with a pair, and a single eight crack. What would you play and what would you discard? I think I would probably start with the twos. Like numbers with twos. If I'm holding twos, maybe hold two, four, six, eight. So maybe two, four, six, eight pair hand. Two, four, six, eight pair hand, maybe. Or like numbers with twos. Oh, look what we have here. No, that's not going to work. Okay, so we need to give something up. Let's give up the eight. Because with the pair hand, we need two suits. So we don't need three suits. Let's pass these and keep the dragons in case like numbers comes in. There's a dragon and nines. We could maybe play a year hand. Let's keep, let's keep the nine and pass these three. That's a little bit risky. Let's just push forward. Red dragon. Nine crack. I think I would give up on the year or the evens and go for a year hand. Leverage the twos and the flowers. So we have a potential year hand and tiles to pass. Flower, dragon. We just finished the first left, we're going into the optional Charleston. I would not stop the Charleston here. I would pick a hand and whittle out tiles for passing. I think I might play here a, the year hand with dragons. Leverage the flowers and the pung of dragons. The other option would be like numbers with twos. So I think maybe hold the BAM because we could use the twos with this. We need to give up a tile though. Let's push forward and play a year hand with dragons. No keepers. That's almost a relief because now we can keep going with the Charleston. Oh, I would not pass like numbers. Let's give up the two. There's a keeper, maybe. We only need a pair of flowers, though. I would not pass that, though. I think I would pass one blind. We have all the tiles we need here. Let's pass one blind for optional. Or not one blind. We'll negotiate two. No keepers. Four discards for the year with dragons. This would be the third hand down under winds and dragons.
The Charleston is half the game for American Mahjong. So do Charleston modeling to gain confidence with decision making through the Charleston. Set yourself up for success by building around the strength of your changing hand. At the end of the Charleston, if you have four discards or less, that would be an indicator of good decision making. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston modeling for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.